pound of ground chicken, cilantro, garlic, onion powder, onion, and of course, this time I got the red sofrito. I'm not, somebody has something to say about it, and I know you're watching, so we gonna fight, but that's okay. I actually like this stuff a lot. I said it before. What I'm gonna do with this, actually, obviously get it incorporated, and I'm gonna mold these into like sausages. I was gonna make kebabs, but I don't wanna use the skewers, but it's pretty much the same thing. If you wanna make skewers out of it, literally just find a skewer and stick it through. That's as simple as it goes, but we lazy. So you roll this out into about six chicken glizzies. <laughs> All right, and I also added fresh lime, which I squeezed on top, but I didn't film that because y'all know how to squeeze lime out. I, I would hope by now. These are gonna go in the oven, 350 for about 30 to 45 minutes until they just, you know, until they're done. Pop those in there. Take the damn lime out, stupid. Ounces of protein elbows going into the salted water. Let that marinate. Got the mac and cheese, this is six, six ounces that's done right now. We put it into our, how would you call this? Like a Pyrex, yeah, it's a Pyrex, right? Got six ounces of crab meat. Yes, that's imitation, because I'm broke. Leave my ass alone. You can hit the Venmo if you want me to use real crab, but we ain't got it. Got a quarter cup of almond milk, two and a half ounces of fat-free cheddar. Fat-free cheddar melts like ass. You can use regular cheese if you want to, but you know I try to keep it macro-friendly. And that is 100 grams of Tostitos Smooth and Cheesy Dip. You can use salsa con queso, um, or you can get that powdered cheese that they have like in a macaroni, but I don't like using that. I prefer the Tostitos because it adds something different to it. A little bit of like, you know, seasoning. You can season it how you want to after that. Garlic powder, onion powder is what I usually use, of course. Pepper, you can use salt. I don't really use salt in a lot of my food, but I'm gonna add that to it, and then I'm gonna stir this bad boy up. Should look like, I also put Old Bay on the top of that, obviously with the seasoning and everything. So there's Old Bay on the top of this. I'm gonna pop this and hitch it in the same oven as the chicken blizzies. <laughs> and we're gonna see what this comes out like. And for the rice, we got our usual suspects. This is basmati rice, it's 300 grams. We have got our garlic powder, onion powder, and our yellow seasoning that looks like this. Just be careful with this. Don't add too much to it because there is a decent amount of sodium, like a quarter teaspoon, which is not a lot. It's like, I think 135 grams of milligrams of sodium, which is a bunch. And add our water to this. That's the yellow rice. Simple. About 400 grams of broccoli right here that I just put sea salt. Man, hey, I'm trying to talk here. Sea salt, fresh black pepper and lemon pepper. That's it. Go into the air fryer. 100 degrees, 15 minutes. 400 degrees. Oh, sorry. Y'all don't get that joke. <laughs> 15 minutes though. It's going to be good, isn't it? And these I'm gonna finish on the grill, like on a flat top, so like give them a little crust. We just pull these out of the oven. Don't worry about the color. You can eat them just like this if you want to. What I do is I'm actually gonna put these on the pan and see, like put a crust on the top of them, season them up a little bit more, and then we'll be good to go with these. <sighs> All right, so we hit with the spray and the lemon pepper seasoning, and we just gonna crisp these up. Nothing crazy. Just looking to put a little bark on them. Just pull that mac and cheese out in the meantime, between time. See that? Look. La, 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 la. Y'all want some? All right, those did about two minutes on each side. You can see the bark. Don't do this if you're not me. See the bark on both sides. That's all we're looking for right there. We're gonna take this, we got everything. We're gonna plate it up, I'm ready. All right, we popped a nice king size portion of that rice down. Got those nice sausages down. And of course we added that broccoli roasted off in the air fryer. I love that char on there. You are not put it in as long as I do, but I just, I like it that way. Of course. <sighs> Oh, yeah, buddy. Get that Mac down, boy. That Mac down, boy. You don't have to do this, but last but not least, I like a little drizzle. Just a little bit. It's fat-free ranch, bro. What are we saying? And y'all are not going to believe this, but this mac and cheese right here has less than 10 grams of fat. <laughs> Everything in it is fat-free. Other than the Tostitos, that's the only thing that puts the fat in this bad boy. It. What's going on guys, King Trash, back another video on the channel. Today you already saw what we made, I always do that, but last today I did it right, and today I didn't. Doesn't matter, you see the vibes, just talk this over. Let's get into this chicken glizzy. There you go. Perfectly cooked. Nice little sear on the back. Super juicy. And that's ground chicken breast. And it's supposed to be juicy mouthed. I don't know why, I had to just get it, I'm sorry. How much did I just spill? Even more. Alright, got a utensil switch. I know where y'all are here. I'm trying to get it nice. That shit hot. Hey, go ahead and fall. I know you're gonna fall already, yeah, boop, there you go. Crab mac and cheese, bruh.
What? Ain't no way. Ain't no way. In it. Bro. 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 This mac and cheese is like 400 calories right here. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Mm -mm. It's impossible. It's impossible. It's impossible. <laughs> I almost dropped my glizzy. Bro. I know people don't like this the way I do. But I like mine damn near burnt. Some people gonna say it is. I love that flavor, man. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Nope. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The fuck was that? I'm telling you. All day. Whole thing. Whole vibe. Oh, you need this, man. I'm glad everybody who watched yesterday enjoyed uh, listening to my lunchtime stories from back in the day. But I'm glad you found it hilarious that I got chased by a woman who was my size in the cafeteria. I had a few people reach out to me. <laughs> it's always happens. A lot of people that I grew up with, like, watch the videos. <laughs> so, it always happens. Every time I tell stories about some of the things from high school, even some stuff from college, like, obviously it's not the same set of people because I went to school in the Midwest, but every single time, without fail, I'll get a message, a text message, a DM something. Hey, wasn't that so and so? Yeah, bro. <laughs> Every time. Every time. This time. I thought I was gonna get. <laughs> okay, if you weren't here yesterday, basically I told a story about. Um. I got chased in the cafeteria and a, and, a, and a giant container of ranch dressing thrown at me at lunch because I've rejected someone's advances. I was like, I thought I was going to get reached out to by the person that chased me, but no. But the girl I rejected. <laughs> I didn't answer. I'm just not going down that road. Gotta be careful. I forget. Gotta be watching you, little sneaky little. All right. I didn't answer. I don't want them. Nope. Which leads me to my topic today. I see a lot of people making content about men not being able to handle rejection. And I'm here to say, on behalf of all men, that's true as hell. <laughs> Listen, a lot of men can't handle rejection. No. And I think a lot of times, a 
men come at women the wrong way. You know? Like, calling her, like, you know, look. I think don't, a lot of men don't realize the stuff that y'all be doing, and I'm saying y'all, okay? Because I will always keep it a buck. I don't do shit like this. I, I, I don't slide into DMs. I'm definitely not sending photographs of parts of myself. And I am not using pet names for a woman that I do not know. Most of the time, in order for that stuff that y'all think works to work, let me break this down for you real quick. You gotta be on a certain level with the person, and it has to be established that there's a mutual interest before any of that stuff is even on the table. Okay? I, I, I feel like people just don't hear me. So. If you are calling a random girl and being like, what's up, baby? Or what's up, beautiful? First of all, most women think that shit is cringe anyway. But, I'm not saying it don't work. I'm just saying that your likelihood of getting your point across or whatever it is that you're trying to do, it's not finna land. It's very likely that it's not gonna land. There's exceptions to every rule. But most women don't wanna be called baby by a freaking stranger. That's how you get called a creep. And I hear a lot of them, oh yeah, all guys are creeps. That's, they talking about that. Y'all sound like them old school construction worker stereotypes that be catcalling. That's who, catcalling, bro. It doesn't work. Exceptions to every rule. But those types of behaviors are things that need to be, there needs to be a mutual established interest on a certain level between y'all for that's even an, an option. You want to call the woman baby? I hope that she knows that you like her and you know that she likes you. And it still might be weird. And this has been a very popular topic on the channel. And I know there's going to be people out there, I'm pretty sure nobody's going to cop to it. Because I've talked on this a million times, and nobody's ever admitted to it. But a lot of y'all have burner accounts. So you're anonymous, okay? Any guy out there who has sent an unsolicited, the key word here is unsolicited. Photograph of their nether regions. Has it ever landed? Like, ever? If it has, please let me know. Let me know about the person that you sent a DM, a text message. Again, keyword here, unsolicited. That means they didn't ask for it. They, did not, they, did not, they don't want it. You're just giving it. Unsolicited. Has it ever landed? I used to think that they were, like, women were lying to me. I'm not even joking. They'd be like, oh, I hate when guys do that. I'm like, guys don't do that. Y'all do that, bro. Like, really? <laughs> it's never worked. I just, I just, I don't, I just want to know, and this is like no, no BS. I, if anybody has like got the, the stones, you have, listen, if you got the stones to send it, can you at least have the stones to explain? I'm not even being funny. Where's your brain going? I'm not being funny. I'm, I'm genuinely serious. Bro, where's your brain going? How does it work? Like, are you on the internet? Um, or I don't know how this, I, look. Maybe you see a picture of somebody, you're like, oh, she look good. 
I'm gonna send her a picture of, of me, my stuff, my gem. Like that's that's the next step. Like whatever happened to hi? Like I feel like there's a lot of different ways you can go there, and then that's the conclusion that you jump to. Now, fellas, I got your back in one sense, and I'm not telling you to do this because this is the stupidest can idea you ever made. Don't do that. I know what you're thinking. Stop thinking that. I understand that as a man, that kind of behavior works on you, and it's what you'd want. But it don't work on women, bro. I understand that if you, someone thought you were good looking, right, and they sent you, you would be like, I'll bet. Women are not built that way. Okay? It will always matter who it's attached to. So, just stop that. I just want to know if anybody, if anybody ever shot that kind of shot and he's gone in. That's like playing basketball with a beach ball with a rim the size of a Dixie cup. It's just, like, it's just not smart. At all. And lastly, just because somebody curves you, rejects you, don't be rude. Don't call them names or stupid stuff like that. Take your L. Understand that a lot of times when a woman curves you in a rude manner, it's because you came off that way. If you come over them with that, hey, baby, blah, 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 a lot of women will take offense to that because they are not your baby. They don't want to be, they're not, like, they don't belong to you. So you using possessive types of words towards a woman that you don't know, it's going to trigger them to ether your ass. And to be perfectly honest, in this case, it's kind of warranted. You know what I'm saying? Imagine if there was somebody that you didn't like. Whatever it is you find on a tracker. And they started making all kinds of crazy advances towards you. You would probably be rude too. Especially if they started saying some crazy stuff to you. So a lot of times when you, you got to look at things and say, okay, well, where did I do something wrong in this? What can I do here? Because you can't control other people. You can only control your actions. And a lot of times there's something that you might have be able to do to avoid it. And sometimes there isn't, but you at least have to look at a situation and be like, could I have done something differently? When you are the perceived aggressor, you understand? Because you can't victimize people and expect them not to be like, they gonna fight back. That's kind of how the world works. If I walked up to you and threw something in the back of your head, I fully expect you to turn around with a closed fist because that's kind of how it works, you know what I'm saying? So, if you come with a funny reaction, you're going to get a funny reaction back. It's the way of the world. So you got to chill with that. And funny enough, ladies, don't walk away. I'm not done. I know you're probably sitting there saying, yeah, shut up. Ain't nobody free from this. Because as much as men can't handle rejection, women really can't handle rejection. Woo! Woo! The women that I have rejected in my life and women that I've seen get rejected, their reactions 
are like, even if you're polite, I have had plenty of women in my life. Again, people always say, maybe I'm picking the wrong women. First of all, they're picking me. Second of all, I'm rejecting them, so I'm not picking shit. Third of all, I'm not even just talking about me. I've been around other people who've rejected women. One specifically always comes to mind. One time I was at a club, a club. about three or four of my friends, and it was one of my friends' birthday. And for some reason, there's a little bit of a double standard when it comes to certain things. And in clubs and bars that allow hats, I've seen a lot of women over the years either take my hat, take one of my friend's hats, and put it on their head. And in this specific case, it wasn't me for once. Because I used to get mad when people did that. In the sense of, this is like even in college. Like, don't touch people. So, in this case, this was in college. My friends were at a bar. And random girl, we didn't know who she was. She walks up behind my friend. I could see her coming, but I thought she knew him. You know, because the way she was acting. But she was looking at him, and we were standing like on a balcony, you know? But we were at the part where, like, like this. So I was over here. I always use illustrations. I was over here, and she was over there. Or, like, he was over there. So we could both look down in the crowd, but I could have, like, plain line of sight of him. He wasn't standing next to me. He was standing, like, on the other side, because we were, like, at the, at the corner. So I seen this girl looking... Almost because of the way that I was brought up. I'm always like very aware of what's going on around me. You know. Nowadays people call it getting caught lacking. I try not to get caught lacking. Like if I see somebody that I don't know or I feel some footsteps, like I'm gonna get a glance at you. So I noticed a girl walking towards me. And she was like wide-eyed, as if she knew him, like she wanted to say hi. But she didn't say nothing. She literally like reached up because she was relatively short, he was like 6'3, took his hat off his head, put it on her head. So, he turned around, and he cussed her ass out. When he turned around, he was like, you know, what the F is wrong with you? Give me my MF hat back. F out of here. And he took his hat back, put it back on his head. And her two friends that were with her. Because you know how it is, like, a lot of times people get rejected and, like, their friend's reaction is what really pisses them off. So. Her friends started laughing at her. They were like, hey, hey, you know what I mean? Like, like, oh, you know how people are. She got so pissed off. She had drinking her hand. She threw all over his ass. And was like, you know, F you. Screaming. Like, screaming. It was at the point security had to come over. And they almost kicked him out. Because they figured he must have done something. But I witnessed the whole thing. And he didn't. And they were, like, asking her, are you okay? You know, what happened? And clearly you could tell she's like belligerently under the influence. So, you know, like I calmly explained it to the guy and I told him what happened, you know. And her friends were like kind of like taking our side too, luckily, because we would have got kicked out that night or maybe worse. I don't know, because he was mad. And I'm pretty sure knowing him that like we would have fought the bouncers. <laughs> we were little angry ass kids. Anyway, um, yeah. But she got so mad, she threw a drink on him. 
because he rejected her because she walked up to him that unsolicited you know action and reaction type of stuff that he snatched his hat back so give me my hat back you know what i'm saying i don't think he was wrong for that i've had that happen to me in clubs and bars and stuff like that where women would do that and you know i'm a little more excuse me by the way like reserved so i will calmly be like can you give my hat back you know what i mean like i'm not going like he he raised up like he was mad which i get because like don't do that but at the same time like i don't know like i i try not to when it comes to like women and stuff like i don't like i didn't want to be in a situation like him where no matter what it was like they would have been like yo like what'd you do because she might have flipped out and i'm kind of like aware of that stuff so like i was just like you know i'm always just, like yo give me my hat back like you know, don't take my hat. That's not cool. You know, sometimes they, they, well, I'm sorry about that. And I'm like, yeah, I know. Like, cool. Like, you know, I'll even buy you a drink. Cool. Like, here. <laughs> Funny enough, like, one, I uh, had like a piece of rice in my dish. But, um, one woman that did that was that same exact thing. She took my hat. She was, you know, whatever. And I was like, yo, like, you get my hat back. And I was like, no, but, like, it's cool out. Like, you want a drink or something? She said, okay. So I bought her a drink. We ended up dating. <laughs> um, I mean, if you want to call it dating. I don't know what the hell y'all want to call it. I'm not finna out myself. But we ended up, you know, being cool for a while. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it, dude, I guess I guess her shot worked in that sense. Because um, I ended up asking her. I was like, yo, why the fuck you take my hat? <laughs> you know, eventually. Because I was like, cause I was like that. you know how people had a cool story about how you met? And I was like, yo, why did you take my hat? She was like, I don't know. Like, a lot of guys just think it's cute. And I was like, that shit ain't cute. <laughs> like, maybe that stuff does work on some guys. But, like, I'll, I'll be perfectly honest. A lot of stuff that, like, women think works on men. And maybe it does. I can't speak on other men's behalf. But that shit don't work on me. Like, that stuff that y'all be thinking cute. Like, I don't think that shit's cute. You know? Like, all that, like, little funny hard to get shit. Like, if I feel like you're playing games. Like, if you're like, I'm like, bye. Like, I, you know, like, I'm, I'm a whole adult. I was even like that, you know, at 18, like for real, you know, I wasn't disrespectful and I, I didn't have bad intentions, but if I felt like, you know, you were trying, cause some people like to play them little funny games, you know what I'm saying? Or like, they try to do something to like get you mad or see how you're going to react and shit. And I'm just, like, I'm a whole adult, bro. You, you want to ask me something, ask me something. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah. And that's the last piece of advice I'm going to leave with. Cause a lot of women don't understand this about men. Okay. Men are very, we're very simple creatures. We're not complicated. We tend to not overthink things. Some of us do in certain situations, but generally speaking, we tend to not overthink things. We're very literal. And I feel like a lot of times there's a, a translation loss with women and men. And it can be avoided with men by, by two steps. Number one, if you have an issue, don't be impulsive. Relax and dumb that shit down because we don't think that, like, Cognitively, okay, we're cavemen in certain parts, like what? Number two, ask him. If you get mad at a man, I can't speak on behalf of women because I'm not a woman. I'm only telling you, you know, what it looks like. So if you get mad at a man, right, and you're going to do something, your actions, you're going to, you know, never talk to him or you're gonna start a fight or something like that and you have an issue and that issue's not known you need to check yourself conversely if you bring up the issue to the man and the man still spits in your face if you have a problem with something now he's gonna ask you you can leave like you don't need to be with that person but if you never brought it up for him to even know that he was doing something wrong or know he was wrong a lot of times, like, women tend to have that, like, he should just know type of attitude. And I'm not talking about big stuff. Like, obviously, you should know that somebody shouldn't cheat on you or stuff like that. But I'm talking about something that you have an issue with. It's just an issue. Because minor issues tend to grow into big stuff because you end up resenting somebody later on. But if you have an issue and you don't bring up the damn issue and we don't know there's an issue. It's <laughs> Can't do that. Okay? Don't go tell six of your friends and not the actual person you need to talk to. So, Kalma, sometimes men really don't know. You be like, listen, I have an issue with this. A lot of men just be like, damn, I didn't even know that. Oh, I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> y'all be overthinking stuff. And then you go, you'll ask three other people and be like, hey, can I ask you a question? 
my boyfriend was doing this, and this is blah, blah, blah. What do you think? But yo, bring the shit up with him. <laughs> what the fuck? Y'all know y'all be doing that shit too. Because I have had plenty of women come up to me like, can I get a guy's perspective on something? And I'm like, first of all, did you bring this shit up with him? And if y'all say no, I say don't even talk to me yet. I'm dead ass too. Don't fucking come to me with your relationship problems. Ask him first. That's your man. I'm not your man. I don't need to know this shit. So if you're going to ask a guy's perspective, can you at least get his perspective first? Now, if you disagree with his perspective, now you can be like, am I wrong if we talked about this and this is the conclusion that he came up with? You get it? It's a difference. There's levels to this shit. But ask him first, please, because y'all don't, don't be always doing, can I get a guy's perspective? I'm fucking ask him. Now, if he doesn't respect your boundaries and stuff like that, then now you know he's a jerk. You can go on and go about your business. But he won't bring shit up. We don't know. We're literal. Ask us. Anyway, delicious. Um, I think I'm getting takeout tomorrow because there's something that I want to review. Uh, it was night be bash in kitchen for a couple of days, though. I don't know yet. I, I got to get it done eventually, but it is what it is. Um, damn, it's late. Anyway, um, I got to go. I love y'all. We'll be back tomorrow. More content. Hand signs. They made it to YouTube.